Hey fish heads, I'm Jason Halliker, and welcome to episode two of the Fish Hatchery series documenting how to raise trout in Virginia. Now, if you missed episode one, we were at Paint Bank Hatchery and we talked about raising trout from egg to a fingerling. Now those, that those trout are at fingerling size, they are shipped to one of our grow out facilities, in this case, Corsi Springs. And today in episode two, we're gonna talk about raising those fish from fingerling to stockable size. So stay with us. Hi, my name is Eric Wooding. I'm the superintendent at the Corsi Springs Fish Cultural Station, which is located in Bath County, Virginia. We were renovated in 2008 to 2010. We have a carrying capacity of about 275,000 pounds, which equals out to anywhere between, depending on the time of year, between 300,000 to 500,000 fish on site. Last year, we stocked out 204,000 pounds within our region, which is 10 county area plus two cities covering 6,000 square miles. You may sometimes hear people refer to a trout hatchery as a trout farm, which isn't too far off. We're actually at a considered agriculture, and just like on a farm where we, you may raise cattle, we raise fish. And into that goes a lot every day, a lot of hard work. A typical day starts off, you come in, you get into waders, you get in and out of every pond to make sure that all the dead are picked and the ponds are clean. After that, then you go to feeding. If you're not loading out, you go to feeding, which we have an automated feed machine, which makes uh, saves us a lot of time. And it's the scale it has scales on it, which weigh the feed out. So, according to what we prescribe them to be fed, based on their weight, temperature, and densities, and their size, they're fed out every day, anywhere between three to up to four times if they're small. Today's job at Corsi Springs is to grade fish. The reason we grade these fish is to separate them by size, large fish from small. That way when they reach adult size, they won't have any variance in size as much as what would happen in the wild. To grade the fish, we first start off by seining the fish up, which basically just crowds them into a small area where we can easily net them. From there, the fish are netted, handed up to the person on the grader, and then dumped into the grader once the fish enter the, bar, the grater, they go through rolling bars, which separate out the size by the width of the, the fish. Larger fish are wider than smaller fish. The fish then go through, drop into the basin of the, of the grater, and are transported by pipe to a, one pond or another, depending on their size. Over the past few years, the department has ramped up their biosecurity procedures. This past summer, we caught up with our state wildlife veterinarian to talk a little bit about the protocols that are put in place. I'm Megan Kirchhaston, and I'm the wildlife veterinarian for the Virginia Department of Game. We're here at Corsi Springs today to do an annual fish health inspection, where we look at a bunch of fish, and we're looking for any sorts of diseases like viruses or bacteria or parasites. In order to do this surveillance, we euthanize some fish, and we do a thorough necropsy on them, which is where we look at all the organs, and we're looking for any sorts of masses or abscesses or any indication that these fish may be sick. We then take a small sample of the spleen and the kidney and we send it to the lab and they look for any diseases that we may have to be worried about. We do these inspections every year at all of our trout hatcheries to make sure that we provide the healthiest fish possible for the anglers of Virginia. Our fish culturists are some of the hardest working men and women in our agency. Despite the cold and wet conditions they work in day in and day out, they continue to strive to raise the best fish possible for the anglers of Virginia. Be sure to tune in to our final episode airing later this spring. In the meantime, check out our website, purchase a hunting and fishing license, and make sure to visit shopdgaf.com where you can purchase some agency apparel featuring our brand new logo. Thanks for watching and remember to go outdoors, Virginia.